Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, so today I want to show you how to basically start out making a plein air easel. Uh, the reason I did this is because of the simple fact that it was ridiculously priced online when you buy all these parts or, and I wasn't happy with it. So I made my own. Uh, we're going to focus on the easel part today. It's two parts. So the first part is the easel, uh, which is this part right here. And the second part is the tripod. Now the tripod, uh, is from Best Buy. You can actually pick it up for about $35. It's a Sunpack 6,000 uh, PG. And again, about $35 when it's on sale and it works fine. Then what you've got here is you've got your hot shoe that you're gonna take from your tripod. And basically we're going to take this apart like so. Now, the nice thing about this is it's simple, easy to use. I can manipulate it with my uh, handle. I can raise and lower using a big or small canvas. And then depending on what type of palette you have, I can go in back here and I can loosen this up here and move it up or down as I want and then tighten it back in. And that is what I'm going to teach you how to make today with this. All right. So this is a Hobby Lobby's master touch single mass table easel. Um, we're just going to use this and most of the parts that come with it. So we're going to take it out. And we will basically rip apart the plastic and instructions we don't need. So there's two parts. This is to hold the uh, canvas. And so we're going to keep these off to the side for now. And what we're going to do is we've got a couple things that we're going to have to start drilling apart here. Um, we're going to keep a couple things on it just to make life a little simpler. But, so you look and everything kind of comes out like this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drill out the rivets here and we're going to drill out the rivets here and here. And we are going to drill this rivet out here as well. And so that is going to give us the parts that we need. So I'm just going to kind of take everything apart here and start drilling. And this slides out. We're not going to need those. Uh, these basically spin out here. And we're going to not need that piece. Again, take this out. And this is, we're going to keep. So we need this, this, and two of these. And then let's start drilling. So I'm using a little bit bigger than the hole. So basically when I push this down on top, it should drill out the outer part and eventually it'll just pop off. All right. So we're going to start with This one here, ready? And that's the first one and it pops this piece off here. Come on. There we go. Need that piece. I'm going to take this piece off right here. Okay. 
that piece we're keeping here. This is the cross brace, we need that. And then I'm going to take these two pieces off right here. And you'll notice with this type, you might need to put something that'll grip it underneath. And I'm just putting a little piece of wood and the pressure of the wood should allow me to drill. These two off, garbage, garbage, and like so. So then, we're going to take the cross brace and the first nut and screw that on together. And then the back piece here and take the next cross nut here and screw that on together like so. And that fits in the back piece here. And tighten that down. Like so. And then this piece has a little groove in there. And it will slide in from the top. If it's too tight, you gotta loosen it. And this slides in this way here. Might have to turn it or whatnot. Spin, and then that tightens like so. This piece goes from the top, same thing, loosen. And like so. And that is all that you need for this. And then we'll do this in a different room. So this is the completed version. Basically it's a nut on top of this center version. And so what we're doing here is we're just replacing this nut. So we're taking this piece off like so. And then this hole that's already pre-drilled in there, we are going to basically use that and then we're going to take, uh, we need about an inch nut and bolt or inch bolt with a little nut. I think it's a uh, three quarter. And so this originally, I don't have a spare one of these, but this originally had a nut in there. Um, this particular model, it wasn't tight enough to basically use this. So we had to take that nut out. So what that is, is you have to, it'll look something like this. And then what you have to do is dig in there and there's a little clamp, a C clamp in there. And what that does is you just get a really small screwdriver or a, a, a knife or something like that and pull that away. And once you can pull that away, this pops right out. All right. And then what you do is you take that one inch nut or you can use a three quarter depending on, on how big you are. You're going to take that and you're going to thread that through your thread that through like so. So I usually grab this, this is like a little pin here. I usually grab that pin and put it in the center. Um, you can use that to drill like so. And then once that's in there, uh, you just apply the nut. Now, uh, when you tighten it, I've got this backwards here. When you tighten that like so, it's okay to put a little pressure. What's gonna happen is this is going to bend because of the tightening pressure and that's okay. So just basically screw that down. And then again, you're going to tighten this. Uh, you can get a uh, ratchet set or whatever you use to tighten it, it's fine. Don't, if you thumb tighten it, it's gonna keep loosening. If you tighten, tighten with a, a, a tool, it's going to basically work. And then once that's done, you simply take this 
and slide it slide it down where you want it tighten it down where you want it and then on on this you basically clip your hot shoe in there and you're done it's simple as that all right i just wanted to th say thank you for watching i know the camera's a little shaky and it's not my normally video but i've had enough people interested in it uh in the plain air circuit that i figured i'd do a quick video um if you have any questions or you need any uh, places i'll put all the links in below if you have any questions let me know i'll be more than happy to try and help you out and and get your up and running all right all right have a good day and uh thanks much